It's a big ferro. Which makes my mouth water. So I think that's kind of what popped to me. Yeah, it was kind of hiding. Whoa. So this is uh, quite a mouthful. Oh, that sounds really odd. But the head does look like a desert. Not quite what I expected. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Small, the little muffins. Come to mama. Whatever, I can't even say it. Wow. Was yeah, that so your ex-girlfriend's name? No. Yeah. <laughs> Umbriana. Umbriana. <laughs> Sounds like a pop star. And make sure you bring your credit card because yeah. this bad boy was not cheap. No. And I like them. I like them rich, <laughs> yeah. fellas. Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo, Gumbo Mud. Mud. We're here for a dark beer. And today we have from Modern Times. This is the Pharaoh Ascendant. It's a big Pharaoh. And it, <laughs> big old Pharaoh. It's a big old Pharaoh. And this is their oatmeal cookie edition, which makes my mouth water. Yeah, it sounds good. Pharaoh Ascendant. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a crazy name. Yeah, total yeah. bizarro name, but yeah, I'm yes. sure. Egyptian uh, coffee beans? <laughs> yeah. Something I, from Egypt, right? Yeah. I When I hear Pharaoh, I think Egyptian right. culture also. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing this on their uh, Instagram because I follow mm -hmm. Modern Times on Instagram. Um, but we just came across it, right? Uh, you found it, right? I did. Yeah. And this, um, we reviewed another Modern Times uh, re reality maze. Yeah. And the bottle is very similar. Yeah. So I think that's kind of what popped to me. Um, Same colors. Yeah. You just found it, what, Bottle, bottle Craft? Uh, I got it. Bottle Craft? Bottle Craft. Solana Beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're on the coast. So uh, yeah, it was kind of hiding. I know. And then you Wait, found it. I almost oh. walked out and then it caught my eye with the uh, the label that pops. And I, we both remembered it. Like, oh, I remember mm -hmm. seeing that. Yeah, it looks really good. Sounds yes. good too. So an oatmeal cookie edition, yeah. Yes. 12.5. Five percent. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. It sounds good. So basically, the style they're saying of this is an imperial dessert stout with vanilla, oats, cinnamon, and brown sugar. So the only thing that kind of worries me is the cinnamon. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I love a good oatmeal cookie. Oh yeah. Um, most oatmeal cookies, not most, but I would say half. Uh, half the people usually add raisins. So I'm wondering if we're gonna get. Raisin mm -hmm. is obviously a dark fruit. So right. are we going to get, you know, the dark fruit aspect of it? Or is it just those sweet um, components you just listed? I would almost bet there's going to be dark fruit. In I think so, too. Because <laughs> every beer we seem to get lately yes. is all dark fruit. So Okay, so this is uh, quite a mouthful of a paragraph. Uh, this is from uh, Modern Times website directly. So I did not make this crap up. <laughs> <laughs> Built on a complex and meticulously constructed malt bill, this unapologetically decadent imperial stout was lavished with straight up irresponsible amounts of vanilla, oats, cinnamon, brown sugar, and amburana bark, which is a unique tree bark with an extremely vanilla forward profile. Like, mm. that sounds great. The result is a resounding detonate, detonation of dessert flavors that cradle the palate like a hammock made of compliments. Wow, I wonder who wrote all that. Whoa, that's um, a lot of BS. Yeah, bark. Yeah. They put bark in beer. I know, when I first, I, I saw that on here somewhere, and yeah. I, I was kind of like, oh, that sounds really odd. But now when I find out that it, you know, it has extreme vanilla yeah. uh, flavor profiles, that makes me. It's interesting, right? I, yeah. I guess you would put it in like cocoa nibs or anything, but mm -hmm. they're going to give it some flavor. But yeah, I would think then it'd almost be a little earthy. Yeah. If you're putting yeah. bark in it, yeah. even, even with vanilla. You know, I know. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah, so obviously we, we've uh, we've gone uh, we've done modern times before. Mm -hmm. um, you can see that video right here, and uh, we kind of cover modern times in that video. So watch that video. And uh, modern times is great. They've been around a long time. They have uh, uh, quite a few uh, locations. Um, they have uh, brewery restaurants in Los Angeles and Portland, mm -hmm. and then uh, tasting rooms in Oakland, San Diego, North Park, and then uh, a restaurant tasting room in Encinitas and Santa Barbara, besides their main location where they started in Loma Land, which is uh, Point Loma, mm -hmm. there in, in uh, San Diego. So uh, quite a few locations, and um, I think even of this, they were opening in Anaheim, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I've seen, I follow them on Instagram, like I said, and I, they, they uh, upload updated construction photos. Mm-hmm. But with obviously this pandemic going on, maybe they had to stop for a while. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have any so. updates on it right now, but uh, check out their website and uh, it'll, it'll have everything on there. Their website's great. Yeah, all of their locations have a very unique look. Like, yes. you know, they're kind of um, they're kind of uniform throughout. Like, it's kind of to me, it's like a modern times stamp. Like, you you could just look at an interior and know that that's a modern times yeah uh, facility. I think it's the same person that designs all those wrote, wrote so. that paragraph. Right. Because <laughs> right. <laughs> they're very unique and different, yeah. and it's almost like. Um, they went to garage sales and picked certain unique things. Mm-hmm. They go together, but they don't. Yeah. It's, 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 they're, tr- they're unique, though. Like you said, when you see a photograph of it, you're like, that's modern times mm-hmm. or tasting room. So. Yes. And that's about it on this one. There wasn't much. You couldn't find much on it. This is Modern Times love to do limited editions. They mm-hmm. do s- a lot of limited edition stuff. So they're usually not a much on it. They, this has been brewed one time, as far as we know. Yeah. Who knows it'll be brewed again. So I'm glad, yes. so glad you found it. Yes. Yeah. Ready? Get busy. Let's try it. Yeah. Yeah, if you if you guys follow Modern Times on Instagram, um, they put out beers almost weekly. Mm-hmm. New beers almost weekly, if not weekly, every other week. Yeah, they'll release five beers at least. Mm-hmm. Brewing it seems machines. like brewing machine. Yeah. Yes. So and in, in a lot of their locations will brew beer, so it's not just San Diego brewing it mm-hmm. and shipping to these locations. Yes. A lot of these locations will brew the beer too. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Pretty dark brown. Yeah, it is. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> good, 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 good. <laughs> gotta, gotta get the sound effects in there. I know, I went <laughs> yeah, looks really good. So for appearance, what do you think? Well, it's kind of a really, really dark, dark brown. Uh, it's twelve point five percent. So yeah, quite a bit of carbonation. Yeah. Um, yeah, not much head retention. No, and the, and the carbonation bubbles are small yeah, on the lacy, mm-hmm. which isn't much. Yeah, the yeah. lacing's going away quick. Um, yeah. Not quite what I expected uh, for a 12 and a half percent. So yeah, I agree. Um, a little disappointed on what I'm getting initially. So I'm going to start with a four for four. appearance. But the head does look like a desert. Pharaoh, Egyptian desert. De- yeah. No. <laughs> it's kind of that light, kind of a deserty, you know, brown. Sand. <laughs> Sand, yeah. Sandish. Sandish, yeah. Yes. So what do you give it? I give it a four. You give it a four? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not I'm not that impressed. It's a twelve point five. And so I expect a lot more for a twelve. Mm-hmm. Like it was pretty light, it wasn't dark. The head was okay, but dissipated really quick. Yes. Uh, no lacing, really. Mm-hmm. It's just some bubbles, tight bubbles. So I think I would give it 3.5 for appearance. Mm-hmm. For for a 12.5%, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't really look that impressive no. to me. It looks yeah. okay, but it, I was expecting more. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah. So aroma. Come to mama. I didn't smell anything when I was pouring it. Wow. <laughs> um, lots of uh, lots of aroma going on. Oh, you wanted to say dark fruit? <laughs> well, it's there. It is there. Yeah. What do you um, get? A strong sense of cinnamon. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Maple, which I don't think that was in the description, but I get some maple. Yeah. Um. I like maple. I do get a a really strong sense of just a baked good. I can't really say yeah. that it smells like a cookie. It's like you're cooking, uh, baking a muffin, uh, the little muffins. <laughs> For some reason, that's when I smell it. It's like smelling like like a, one of those little muffins, like they're one bite muffins. Those are called mini muffins. Min- I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Small. Yeah, mini muffins. That's that's what I get. Oh wow! Actually, that, good, right? that okay. That sniff, that smell. I just got straight oatmeal cookie. Yeah. Like crazy. Wow. Yeah. I didn't get it initially. Are you, are you getting the raisins that you think are in most oatmeal cookies? No. I'm not. Oh, man, that smells good. So what do you, what do you, what do you give aroma? It got better. It got, you know, I yeah. think once the oxygen released. Yeah, carbonation kind of settled yeah. down. Yeah, wow. My mouth is watering again. You definitely get brown sugar. Mm-hmm. I like it. Um, I'm going to give it... I'm. I'm going to give it a five. Yeah. I have never smelt another beer like this. Yeah. And I really, I really like the way it smells. Yeah. I could just smell it and not drink it. Yeah. We give it a 4.5. 
I think it smells really good. You, it, you almost get a little fruit, but you don't. It does taste like uh, taste. It does uh, smell like a baked good, mm, it really right? Does. I get a tiny bit of maple, a tiny bit of sh like brown sugar. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've never smelled mm. anything like that too. I think uh, it could be a little more. It's it's kind of faint. Yeah. That's why I didn't give it a five, but I give it a four point five. It smells really good. I've never smelled a beer like this. I know. I haven't either. Yeah. So you're ready for taste? So ready. Taste it up. Yeah. Yeah. It smells interesting. Wow. It's crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so strong, much huh? so much flavor. Let me have another. So strong. 12.5 it should be. It should should be bumping. It's bumping. What do you get? Um really everything that I smelled. Okay. Um my first sip I definitely got, you know, the 12.5 booziness of it. Yeah. Uh second taste not so much. It's pretty creamy. Yeah. We'll I'll get the cinnamon mm. too a little bit now. I definitely can't imagine having more than one of this. It's really sweet. It's rich. It's good though. Yeah. Excuse me. The aroma. I'm getting more oatmeal cookie. <laughs> yeah. And I'm getting cinnamon now, like you said. But it's not a bad cinnamon. We've had some Christmas beers that they, different breweries put out during Christmas, and they have the cinnamon in it. Am I crazy about it? Yeah. But yeah, I'm getting more of the as it settles, more of the oatmeal cookie. It smells like an oatmeal cookie, which is interesting. It's really interesting beer. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes like an oatmeal cookie. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, it's good. It's rich. It doesn't taste like a 12 and a half to me, but the flavors are bumpy. Oh, like, yeah. Um, and it's sweet. I'm getting a lot of sweetness, mm -hmm. and maybe that's the brown sugar, but it's definitely very sweet. Hmm. You know? Um, I'm not getting much of the cinnamon, maybe just a little sprinkle. <laughs> yeah. Sprinkle of cinnamon, something, but it's, it's mostly uh, brown sugar, I think, is what I get. Wow. So, what do you give a taste? I'm not sure. No? Um, it's, it definitely has a lot of flavors going on. Yeah, it does. Um, I think I'm going to give it a four. I do really like it. Um, the more I drink it, something is uh, something's very artificial tasting in it. So, like, it's some, you know, maybe it's not, it could be, like, not a good pure vanilla or... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I'm not. Something just tastes very artificial. Yeah. Not authentic. So I'm not. Sh I'm not I can't really pinpoint what that is, but mm -hmm. it's just kind of leaving a little lingering odd taste. So okay. I'm gonna give it a four. Okay. What I think uh, this last taste, I get a lot of the vanilla, and that bark was the vanilla. Oh uh, yeah. And maybe that's the kind of different vanilla. That could be it. That I'm getting. Maybe that's what you're getting right. too. But I'm getting. Um, we'll get to finish here, but I'm getting some mm -hmm. vanilla on the end, and it's a different kind of flavor, and maybe that's what this bark mm -hmm. is, whatever the hell the name of the bark is. Yeah, <laughs> Aburana. Aburana. <laughs> whatever, I can't even say it. Aburana. <laughs> yeah, that so your ex-girlfriend's name? No. Uh, Aburana. <laughs> Aburana. <laughs> Sounds like a pop star. Um, I actually gave it a four, too, because I like it. It's really good. It's really different, but the vanilla in it, is kind of that's I think what's kind of throwing me. I forgot about the yeah. you know the new source of vanilla. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't even think about that. So that that very well could be what is tasting different to me or kind of I'm not even, I don't really want to say that's off. It's just it's different, different. and I'm not uh, really sure what I think about it yet. Super sweet though. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, what about the texture? I'm glad we're sharing this because yeah. I... Rich. Yeah. I, And I like them. I like them rich. <laughs> yeah. Fellas. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you, what do you give the texture? It's a 12.5. Mm. Yeah. It's kind of... I don't know. I, I'm all over the place on this one. It's so uh, rich that it, it almost gives you like a, a, a thickness, uh, but it, it the body really is kind of like, you know, it's kind of medium bodied. I mm -hmm. would expect a, quite a bit more for a 12 and a half. Which I'm kind of glad it's not, because it is- It would be too much. It is so rich that- Yeah. If it was really like a lot of 12s we've had, man, 
it'd be it'd be hard to drink. Right. I'm glad actually that yeah. it's uh, with j exactly what you said. As rich as the flavors are, if you had something that was even a heavier body, it would yeah. be like overkill. Right. So, um, I'm gonna stick with four on texture. Yeah. Um, Again, I don't, I'm, I'm glad it's the way that it is, but I, I was expecting more for right. a 12 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, I give it a four too, because I think it's, it tastes more like a 10 to me. Mm -hmm. um, not, like I said, medium, medium, not quite heavy. Mm -hmm. that, that medium kind of range. Um, a 12, man, it's 12s are thick. And this is not, <laughs> but... I'm glad it's not like I we know. just said. It's so sweet that man, if it was thicker and richer, yeah, it'd be it'd be almost too much for our for our, for maybe our palates. Right. If you really like sweet, then you would love it. But this and is I a do. Sweet beer. I mean, I really Ooh. do. Like, there's no yeah, there's no end to the like the sweet. You know, I could <laughs> I could bake something every day. Like, yeah. I love sweets, but yeah, um, yeah, this mm -hmm. this is plenty for me. So, what about the finish? Um. The finish, I think it finishes nice. Um, it's a pretty dry finish. I have a little bit of that lingering artificial, I'm just going to say artificial vanilla flavor or um, that unusual vanilla flavor that I'm not familiar with. Yeah. Um, but I have, you know, I have a nice like blend, like a nice cookie finish blend in my mouth, but it's, it's really like a dry, clean finish. I like it. Yeah. So I would give it a four. Okay. Uh, I'm almost going to give it a 4, but I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 because it finishes sweet, it finishes nice, a little sticky. Mm -hmm. um, it leaves a nice little sweetness on my palate. Um, and then, like you said, then it get, kind of gets dry and dissipates, which mm -hmm. is really nice. Um, that's why I keep sipping it. Like It finishes so nice yeah. on this beer that I, I want to keep doing it. It is super sweet and whatever. I, like, I think, I both think, we both think it's that bark, that mm -hmm. vanilla bark. It's different, but man, it's sweet. Like, yeah. And now I know why they used it, if that's what's going on, because we've never had one like this. Mm -hmm. And it's just a different kind of flavor mm -hmm. to the vanilla, huh? Yeah, it is. I also have the uh, oh, sticky corners. Big time, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, so yeah, I give it a I give it a four point five. You gave it a four mm -hmm. on finish. Yeah, so for a total, Janet, what do you give Pharaoh Ascendant? <laughs> Pharaoh Ascendant. I, did, I said it right. Yeah, I give Pharaoh Ascendant a four point two out of five point zero. Um, overall, a really great beer. Um, I'll, I can definitely say hands down, I'm not had another beer with this uh, taste profile and the smell profile like very unique um so that like excites me like i know I'm, there's you know more up your sleeve you guys are going to be brewing all sorts of um you know other beers like this so yeah. i can't wait for that um i i really liked it and um uh, i'm i'm glad to learn about that vanilla bark yeah. that um, you know, adds, I'm assuming that unique vanilla flavor that I'm getting. So, yeah. uh, overall, I think it was a home run. I think they pretty much, you know, really nailed the, um, uh, oatmeal cookie yeah. flavors in it. And, uh, I like it. Yeah. As it warms, which, you know, with a lot of dark beers, it smells more like an oatmeal cookie more mm -hmm. and more. It's crazy. Um, it tastes sweeter than an oatmeal cookie, though, to me. Like, I've eaten oatmeal cookies my whole life growing up. And uh, not this sweet, but it's like a lot of, at first, I, I think I said brown sugar. It's mm -hmm. like, it seems like it's got a lot of brown sugar in it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's super sweet, and I think that vanilla bark is a sweet vanilla. Or maybe the way it reacts mm -hmm. to the, uh, the brown sugar or something. I don't know, but it smells so much like I don't milk cookie right now. I know. Like now that it's it's been warming a little bit. It really and does. Super, super sweet though. So uh, I gave it a 4.1. Uh, it's really good beer, modern times. Every time they, they put out some of these you know bottles, they're usually hard to get because they sell out quick. And uh, they're always tinkering. Mm -hmm. uh, and making new beers like this one like this is this is like a like we've never had a beer like this it's so unique yeah yeah and make sure you bring your credit card because yeah. this bad boy was not cheap no no and it's a 12.5 percent so obviously it's, it costs yeah, a lot to brew it the price yeah and then it's it's kind of limited 
additions. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so anyway, Gumbo Mud Review is a 4.15 for Ferro Ascendant. Oatmeal cookie edition. Oatmeal cookie edition. Yeah, exactly. So Which makes you think maybe they'll do other ones that are might be a chocolate chip cookie edition or, or you know, something like Girl Scout cookie edition. Girl Scout edition. cookie edition. Yeah, mm -hmm. for them to name it Oatmeal cookie edition, maybe they'll make more of them. Yes. So, uh, yeah, can't wait. Can't try them. Can't wait to bring them to you guys. So, yeah, this is a good one. So, yes. super sweet though. Um, if you like super sweet beers, this is one for sure. Definitely a dessert stout. Like this, this could be your dessert hands down, like nothing else needed, so. Yeah, a little eight or 10 ounce one I think would be good. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd want uh, a 12 or 16 ounce of this. Right. It's, it's pretty sweet and strong. Mm -hmm. and yeah, good, but. Satisfies your sweet tooth, exactly. for sure. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, Gumbo Mover use a 4.15 for Ferro Ascendant from Modern Times Brewing. So, yes. thank you guys for watching so much and click the like and share button and share it with everyone and click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. And we are on Instagram. It's Gumbo Mud M U D D. Yeah, for all the latest videos as soon as they come out and all the shenanigans uh, <laughs> we get into. So, yeah. Definitely. Thank you for watching. Thank we you guys. We appreciate you guys. Yeah, thank you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.